All right, guys, so here's an update on Ellie's hornworm. Those tomato leaves are from last night. Um, I'm getting ready to go out and get it some more. It's moving a little bit. Um, I did some research on it because it looked like that yesterday and it wasn't moving at all. And I thought that it was a goner. Um, and so in looking at stuff online, evidently they like bury themselves. So I'm gonna get a small little cup um, and fill it with some soil and then place it in the soil uh, and see if it'll bury itself a little bit. But from the pictures online, it does look okay. Um, again, I've never, we've never hatched out a tomato hornworm moth. Um, but they do get all dry and, I mean, you can tell it's kind of turning brown color. Um, but like it's chrysalis, what we would have with a regular monarch, um, it stays brown. Um, so we'll see what it does. Um, but the, the whole chrysalis turns brown and then it ends up, you know, hatching in a butterfly or a moth. Um, but it was a, it's a three week process from what I can tell online. But, I don't know. He's been moving. Doesn't look like he's moving. <laughs> but, just wanted to give an update. Wanted to give an update on Ellie's little hornworm here. I think, like, this was skin of his. I don't know if he, like, shed his skin or what. Uh, but, when I checked on him this morning, this is what he looked like. So, he did kind of stick, you know, this part of himself in the dirt. Um, but... Very interesting and creepy. Here's her hornworm. Horn, horn. It's been in this brown chrysalis, I'd say, for a good two weeks now. I would think by next week it should be coming out. So we'll just have to wait and Get see. Get this hatching out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I love it. You love you it? it? No, you can't put it. Why? Because we're going to let it sleep. It's sleeping in there. Because it's changing. Is that what they do? Mm -hmm. It'll change. And here in a couple of weeks, it'll be a great big. Well, can I wake it up? No. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a little update real quick. Uh, while Ellie is not here at the moment, and Dylan and I are going to get ready to pack up and we're going to go coon hunting. Uh, tomorrow is Dylan's birthday, and so tonight we're going to go. Um, to a competition with the dogs and it's a little bit of a drive uh, but I wanted to do an update on her hornworm so I'm okay touching it because I'm pretty sure it's not live anymore pretty sure it's not live anymore um, but it never went past this state <gasps> oh god maybe it is alive alright I'll have to go walk back in watch the video but I felt like it moved okay <laughs> I felt like it moved maybe I'm crazy um but I'm done with it <laughs> being in the house um I'm gonna set it out here by the greenhouse <laughs> um I don't freaking know <gasps> oh god yeah yeah no it's definitely alive okay I'm done with the thing being in the house <laughs> um we're just gonna Set it over here. See it right here? We're just gonna leave it right here. I don't know, maybe cover it up a little bit. Yeah. No, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with that thing. Uh, jump out my pot here, put this back in the greenhouse, and then uh, we're gonna put that little critter box back out here in the shed and be done with the hornworm. <laughs> that thing is still alive. Um, I don't know if maybe it has not hatched out yet because it's been in the house and it hasn't been outside in its natural environment, but I'm done with it. Nothing wiggled in my hand. <laughs> Yuck. No, I thought it was dead and it moved. Uh, so that was some entertainment for you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but as always, take care and God bless.